I warned y'all that this was coming, and now it's come to fruition. Fruition? Fruition. I'm graduating in a couple days. Actually, I'm graduating the day this video goes up. And so today, I'm doing my get ready with me for graduation video. It's cool, it's fun, it's gonna be a wild ride. So stick around to see how to go from this to this. And I hope you guys stick along and maybe learn something, pick up a product or two, because I've recently changed some of my skincare routine and I'm very much enjoying it as of late. So hopefully you like it. All right, let's get started. So my skincare routine is very complex. What I do at night is usually like more deep cleans. Like I have a couple different face washes I use, Youth to the People Kale Plus. I don't know, it makes my face smell like a salad and I'm into it. Or like this thing by The Body Shop, this tea tree oil cleanser. Those are both really great and they definitely soak up oil. So usually in the mornings I don't like wash wash my face. I usually take one of the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes and use that. It's gonna get a little complicated here. So obviously I'm not graduating today or else I'd be in a much more of a panic. Still haven't decorated my cap, I need to do that. Now the day I graduate, I actually have rehearsal in the morning. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to, going to be using this. This is Pixie's Glow Tonic, like a exfoliating toner. Um, this is just gonna help get the dead skin off your face and it is going to make you glow a little bit more. So what I did was take a makeup wipe, wipe everything off, and then I did a mask. I actually did two masks. So first I did this brightening mask. Just quick, easy peel off mask. Now I do have combination skin. Basically what that means is like here is normal, but my T-zone, so my forehead, my nose, sometimes right here and my chin get very oily. So I'm gonna head and hit up those with this. This is a charcoal mask. This just helps to absorb the oil. This is definitely a deeper clean. Now after that, I went ahead and used another Pixi product. Again, we love in it. I used this vitamin C tonic. Now I have a couple things with vitamin C in it because what they do is not only your skin a little bit more glowy, but it does help even out the skin tone itself. Something I really need. I have a lot of freckles and stuff like that, which can be really hard. And people never like talk about it because that's why I never have of just like like concealer like a little bit of BB cream because it's like different color skin here than I do here I don't know other people with freckles do y'all like BB creams because I kind of hate them <laughs> my skin tone's not even I can't just put concealer on I'm very jealous of the rest of the girls in the world who can so next up is moisturizing so I use the Mario Badescu moisturizer with vitamin C and then I use an eye treatment. This is the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. Now I did already prime my skin. I used this. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Base Base. Like sometimes I just put this on like on days I don't wear makeup because it, it makes me feel like I'm wearing makeup. Like it's just so glowy and nice. Now I am going to prime the T-zone and right here with some Porefessional by Benefit that is going to help smooth out the pores because I'm not Kylie Jenna. <laughs> I've got pores, my blackheads are slightly under control. Again, charcoal masks, a lot going on here. <laughs> Let's just say this beauty light is doing a lot. <laughs> she really works overtime, the underpaid hero of my YouTubes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get started. All right, so now that I look a considerable amount less shiny, we're gonna do probably the greatest thing that man has ever invented, which is color correcting. This is just what I do personally, the green concealer. If you have rosacea like I do, camera doesn't quite pick it up because it's gotten a lot better nowadays. Thank you, Bobby Brown. But you can see that I very much have been drinking soda and eating sugar, so I'm breaking out places. Also, just general redness, so I got some here. I'm using the Jeffree Star Times Morphe brush. This, I believe, is the contour brush. I really like it for color correcting. It is nice and dense. Now, I'm not gonna do my whole face all at once because sometimes, because I've already primed, the concealer will start to stick. So you do wanna work in small places. Why do I still have acne? I'm almost 22 years old. By the way, happy Gemini season to all my Geminis out there. Hey, that's right. Should I make more makeup tutorials? Please let me know down in the comments below. Also, I've been doing makeup since 
for almost 10 years. No, wait, I think it's gonna be 10 years. Yeah, I think it's 10 years on my birthday. My mom took me on my 12th birthday to MAC to get my makeup done. She would only let me wear like certain things though. It was kind of just like eyeshadow, mascara, foundation. That was kind of all I was really allowed to wear, but. And then I got to high school and then she was like, all right, well now you can just while out. <laughs> now we're going to do underneath the eyes. This is how you can trick people into thinking that you're not also dead on the inside. Now I'm gonna start off with this. This is actually an eyeshadow base. But I saw another beauty guru use it as a color corrector because it's like orange. And this is gonna help correct the blues. Because there's a couple different colors you can have underneath your eyes. It can either be more like blue, where you use orange, or you can you have what's the opposite of yellow? Purple. If you have more purples under the eye, then you want to use yellow. Some people have just sort of browns where you want to use warm colors like red to balance it out. You can also probably blend this out to a point where you just wear this because it's not like it looks super cakey or anything like that. It can actually look really natural if you do it correctly. For any of my my girls out there who are like, you know, I don't want to wear makeup every day. That's cool, girl. That's cool. And then I do go ahead and prime my eyes. Concealer brush first. Morphe sponge, which to be fair, blends just like a beauty blender, except that it's $8. So now we can see that everything's kind of looking regular. Go from here and use concealer if you're going for a more natural look. Like I've, I've done that with a lot more success because it just sort of evens everything out. But now we're gonna go ahead and go into foundation. I'm using the Makeup Revolution Stick Foundation in F4 and I'm using this Optical Blurring Brush by Urban Decay. It's just kind of like a thick, what is this, a dome brush? Looks like this. It kind of looks like the Jeffree Star foundation brush. I like this a little bit more. It's a little softer and I find that because it's a little, a little smaller it also gets into the creases and stuff like that. Just a little bit better. This is again one of those products that you don't really want to go all over at first because you will <laughs> you'll see the streaks. I'm serious. So I usually only go like three lines at a time. I start from the top and I only really go one direction with the brush. So I did of course bring my foundation down to my neck. So next is concealer. So I have three in front of me. The first one is a much darker concealer. Obviously I'm not using this to actually conceal anything. This is to contour. I really like cream contour personally. I think, I don't know, it just looks a little bit more natural. Now I will take that same brush, the optical blurring brush. Where'd it go? Oh crap, I lost it. I am, wow, I'm truly the greatest beauty guru. You know? We'll just take a Jeffree Star one. Now I did blend it up a little bit because I am so pale, I need the colors. So hairline, again, I don't work in giant sections just because, oh my God, I found it. I think I know why I don't make beauty videos that much is because I can't like listen to music while I do this because I'm gonna get a copy strike and it's just weird not to listen to music or like watch YouTube or something like that. Winslow, did you poop on my bed again? Oh my God. Winslow, how dare you? How dare you? Sorry, I just stripped blue sheets off my bed because I have to wash them. So I'm gonna continue contouring though because Winslow might try to shit all over everything I love, but can't shit on my contour. I'm gonna take it underneath the chin just to give me a little bit more of a jawline. And we are going to contour the chin because I don't have one. Now we are also going to do something. I know Tati is sort of disgraced right now, but she had some great makeup tips like lip contouring. Now for the lips and also the nose as well. I'm gonna use this brush again. And now we're gonna do the nose. Ooh, that's a little thick. We'll make it work. Sometimes it, it gets too thick, I'll take the side of um, a flat brush and just try to pick up some of the excess. Now, I like my nose. I don't like the tip of my nose, though. That's usually where I focus it, trying to make this a little smaller, but I don't want to just contour that because that's going to look weird. Now it's time for more of the highlighting. I don't do, go too heavy with this. This is the e.l.f. I don't go too, too ham on this. I do usually use a beauty blender for this. Now, the other places I'm gonna highlight are here, here, wipe it off, get it real good, thin, here, that's probably a little bit too much. And then we're gonna put a little bit underneath the contour down here. Ta-da! So now it's time for under eye concealer. I'm gonna be using the Shape Tape and Light Neutral. I'm not gonna take too much of it. Y'all 
probably just like pinch a nerve while you're trying to look for your memory cards. I'm doing concealer. So we're gonna take just a little bit. Now I do blend kind of up because I do have creases under my eye just sort of naturally. So you wanna make sure it doesn't get caught there. What do I do next? Powders, powders. So we're gonna use Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. Take this, this is just a little angled brush. I usually like to blend it with the contour and then go up just to give it a little bit of color but also to deepen that and I just take it everywhere that I contoured. Alright, so next is blush. So I'm going to be taking this Wet n Wild Color Icon in Mellow Wine. So this is a little bit more of a muted blush because I am quite pale so it can get very clownish very fast. So what I usually do is kind of start up here and then come down. So now, this is everyone's favorite point in any makeup tutorial. It's time to highlight. Now, highlighting for me, always a three-step process. So we're gonna start off with this. This is actually super cool. It's by Makeup Revolution. It's a liquid highlighter in Dragon's Blood. So it has a little bit more of a red sheen to it, but not like too crazy. It's a little bit of a duochrome effect. At the very beginning, I usually just use my finger just because I want a good color payoff and I don't want the sponge to absorb too much. And then afterward, like right here, I don't want like a it very harsh and then I'll just take it. So once you let that really dry, we're gonna go ahead and go in with some powder highlights real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and take... So next, I'm gonna go ahead and take a Fenty Beauty highlighter called How Many Carrots, and we're gonna just take a fan brush put that on the very top. I really like Fenty's highlighters. They're more glittery, like glitter glitter, but they have more, it's more like particle-y. So I like it as a good topper. Just to meld everything together, we're gonna take some finishing spray and just go wild. So my next feat is eyebrows. Now my eyebrows are nothing special in that, honestly, it's not that great. So I use two things for my brows. I use ColourPop Brow Boss. Now first off, use the spoolie to just sort of brush everything, make sure everything looks good. Now I usually try to make them a little thicker just because they're a weird shape. Like they arch, but then the arch stops here, and if I try to do it here, it like never lines up, so it's just like whatever, we'll just make it a little bit more curved. And then next what I do is I take powder, I usually just take some eyeshadow, and then I usually just take this color, it's called Undone. I don't even know if they sell this powder anymore. That's how old this is. This is just gonna add any darkness if you do fill in where there's no hair, and then you can make it a little darker so that you can convince people that, yes, I do have hair there, thank you very much. We're gonna take the spoolie, cause I don't want it to be too harsh at the front, but I still want it to have a little bit of color so that it matches. All right, brows are done. Now it's time for eyeshadow. Now, okay, my dress is like sparkly purple, so I'm probably not gonna do anything crazy with color. I'm probably gonna keep it pretty neutral. I already know what lipstick I'm gonna wear. Yeah, I might do like a little bit of color. Nothing crazy though. So we're gonna go ahead and take the Blood Sugar Palette by Jeffree Star. I have already primed my eyes. So I'm going to go in with the color Cake Mix, which is this color right here. We're just gonna put that everywhere. It's gonna be our base shade. We're gonna again take the Jeffree Star Palette. We're gonna take, next we're gonna take this color called Ouch and we're really gonna pack that into the crease. You will notice I will probably not use too many brushes just because of the fact that I am lazy. A little bit under the eye too. Mostly on the outer third. So next, I'm gonna take a little bit of a darker color. I'm actually gonna grab a different palette, color out of my Morphe palette real quick. It's gonna be another brown color. I know, you've already guessed the color scheme from this. I'm gonna take this guy right here and really pack that on in that nice outer beak. So back to blood sugar. 
We're gonna take like this flat brush and we're gonna go into this color intravenous, which is a very, very, very dark brown. And then take the fluffy blending brush. Now it does look kind of scary. Don't worry ladies and gentlemen and non-binary friends, we're gonna go ahead and fix it up in a second. Now we are gonna do a cut crease, so let me grab the concealer really quick. ColourPop concealer. Hey guys, sorry you couldn't really see me cut the crease. My camera decided to be a little Maybe you'll continue doing it, I don't know. I'm gonna take this color called Donor, which is like this sparkly um, brown color, and we're gonna put that where we packed all that concealer. I don't know, I'm frustrated. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of that brown shade underneath the eye. Okay, now I did say we were gonna do a little bit more with this outer crease here. We're gonna go back into intra intravenous, which is that dark brown, We and just put a little bit more. Now it does look a little harsh kind of up here and here. We are gonna fix that. We're gonna grab a bigger brush. This is a Morphe M501. And you're gonna go in with a lighter color. I like to use this color right here called Tongue Pop. Do a little bit on the brush and then we're just gonna blend out those corners are those sort of harsh lines because that does happen. So now it's time for um, highlight. I kind of want to go in with the color sweetener. And I am going to take a little bit of that color and put it on the middle. Go ahead, hit up the other eye, and then we're gonna do liner. All right, I'm back. I don't know if this mirrors in the shot, although who cares, you know what? I need to get up close and personal with myself to do eyeliner. Now listen, there's a couple different ways you could do this. Not every shape of eyeliner looks good on everybody's eyes. Depends on what you're going for. I like to go for a more almondy look. Cause here's the thing, my face is very small, my features are very small, so I don't want big eyes. Cause then I feel like I just look like a bug. My hair's big enough, okay? I need something a little smaller, so I like them to look a little sleeker. Everybody's different, not everybody likes that. Some people like a wider set eye, so you probably want to go a little, little thicker. With this, I like to do kind of like a, the traditional kind of where it starts real thin, kind of bulges out and then goes back thin. Now, excuse me while I hold my breath while I do this. If you're doing natural lashes, you probably want, don't want to go as thick or else you're not going to be able to see your lashes that well. Now you'll notice that I'm not actually touching my skin, I'm using a beauty sponge. This is just so that I don't rub off any of my foundation because I just spent forever trying to perfect it. I like to do outlines more before I go ahead and fill it in just because I want to know if I'm going to be able to like it. I really like this shape, it's nice and sleek. See, eyeliner's not as scary as you think it is. Finish this up, we're gonna put on some lashes. I might even put on my dress. And then I'll probably address the fact that I need to put my makeup all the way down to like my navel to actually look not sick. Okay, lash time. So these are Boss Babe by Fifi Lashes. I like to cut from the outside because I like my lashes to like follow the way the eyeliner goes so that it really emphasizes like that look. So now some lashes don't come really well curved so sometimes you do have to do this little. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I just feel like I got lipstick on my teeth. Wow. You know, I just, I feel like there's something missing. There's somebody who should be here that is it oh wait yes he is he's right here winslow because not only am i ready for graduation this adorable little butt face is too y'all why does my lizard look better in this hat than i do answer me this i love you thank you for doing this for me <laughs> you look so handsome oh winslow he's graduating with a bachelor's in combative pooping and a minor in dragoning. Graduated with honors. Huh? Look at so anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for letting me sort of relax a little bit before graduation because I still need to decorate this freaking thing. So hopefully I'll do that. 
before I go crazy. All right, say goodbye, Winslow. Yeah, good boy. Good dragon. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye!